Hey everyone, I'm Valdemar, Docker Captain, AWS Community Builder, HashiCorp Ambassador, Sneak Ambassador, Cypress Ambassador, Notion Ambassador, and a DevOps Consultant with over 20 years in IT. I have worked at Amazon, IBM, and both big and small companies. Today I help teams master DevOps, containers, and cloud technologies. On this channel we break down DevOps, Docker, and all things automation so you can level up your skills and build powerful, scalable systems. Ever had that moment when AWS breaks, everyone shrugs, and suddenly you're the one fixing it? <laughs> yeah, today Today's video is exactly about ending that suffering. Meet Amazon Q, the built-in AI assistant from AWS. Think of it as your new teammate without the awkward small talk or questionable music taste. It's less hello world and more, hey, your lambda stuck because your IAM policy is a dumpster fire again. Q doesn't just chat, it digs into your infra, permissions, and configurations. It's like having a senior AWS engineer permanently locked inside your console, except you don't need HR's approval. And let's face it, sometimes it's even more useful than that colleague who replies two days late about a completely different issue. Sounds pretty awesome, right? But let's get real, how does Q actually perform in real life? Here is a quick example, you trigger a lambda. Silence. No errors, no logs, just confusion and mild panic. Before you cycle into endless Google tabs, Q calmly checks your setup and says, relax, just add this IAM permission, done. Let me give you another example. You are setting up a VPC, not gateway subnets. Usually a YAML nightmare, right? But Q hands you the template and goes, one click, coffee break. Let's do one last example. Configuring DNS in root 53 usually feels like your first day in tech again. But instead of digging through outdated forum posts or getting vague advice from tools that don't know your setup, Q walks you through clearly, calmly, and with way less stress. You get the idea. Q helps everyone. New to AWS, Q explains exactly what broke and why. Senior DevOps engineer, Q gives you your evenings back, working on a team, less, let's think later, more feature shipped. But hold up, we already have ChatGPT, right? It knows everything. Yeah, except your AWS setup. ChatGPT knows the rules. Q knows your chaos. It's essentially giving ChatGPT the keys to your AWS account with one rule. Look, but don't break. Amazon Q is powerful, but it's not magic. Here is what you should know. It's still in preview, so yeah, you might run into a few bugs. If your setup is super complex, you'll probably still need to tweak a few things by hand. And if you live in Terraform or write everything as code, Q really shines in the CLI or your IDE. And this part is important. Amazon Q is an AI assistant built specifically to help DevOps folks deal with the real world AWS messes without all the usual pain, so why not give it a shot? Because let's be honest, weekends aren't meant for debugging IAM policies. If you learned something new today, smash that like button, it really helps the channel. If DevOps, containers and cloud are your thing, hit subscribe and ring that bloody bell so you don't miss what's coming. What part of Amazon Q caught your eye? Was it the IAM fixes, the VPC magic, or just finally not googling AWS errors? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to know what clicked for you. Want to geek out with other DevOps pros, cloud builders, and automation lovers? Join our Discord, links below. That's it for today, keep shipping, keep scaling, and may your logs be clear, your roles precise, and your weekends IAM error free. See you in the next one.